In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on RTX on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, now the first thing you really need to pay attention to is whether your device is compatible for RTX or not. And the way to check that is actually very simple. All you have to do is go to the marketplace right over here. So pretty simple so far, we have a bunch of skin packs, maps and all that cool stuff and like this uh, cool DLC. But anyways, you want to go over here to the magnifying glass and you want to search up RTX. Simply just type in RTX just like that, then press on enter. Now. Here is where you will find out. If your device is compatible, then a bunch of free maps by NVIDIA will show up over here that has the little RTX logo over there. But unfortunately, if your device is not compatible for RTX, then none of that will appear and it will literally just be nothing, like nothing related to RTX. So if you see these maps over here like Medieval RTX or Coliseum RTX, then you are on the good track and your device is indeed compatible for RTX. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna pick out which map you want to play RTX in. Um, I also want to make something very clear. I'm not going to go over how to get external RTX shaders. I will make a separate video for that, but for now, we're just going to go on this one over here that says color, light, and shadow RTX, which is the map that we'll be using over here. So bam, you'll see a brief little description of what the map and what it has to offer and all that. And over here, you'll see a button that says free, so you don't have to pay any type of money for this. So we're going to press on free, just like so. Then it's going to say purchase in progress. This shouldn't take long. And then you'll get the notification that you bought it. And once you're done with that, then press on download once again, and then just, uh, just press on download once again. And and then it's going to download the world for you and um you know any texture packs that come with the world which i'm not really too sure if it does or doesn't but so if you're a freaking viewer of mine you may have noticed that i am finally on a pc and i'm very excited about that because now i can show you guys all these cool rtx shaders and much more cool stuff so i'm very happy about this but anyways guys i'll see you guys once this is done downloading because it's taking a while all right, guys, it finally finished. And then we will get the option that says create this world right over here, just like so. Then go over here to where it says create. All right, boys, when you first enter the world, you will be greeted right over here. And as you can tell, it's just normal Minecraft, nothing really too special, although we do get this pretty cool texture pack. But all we gotta do now for the last and final step is to actually turn on RTX. And that's very easy to do. All you gotta do is you gotta go to your settings right over here, then scroll to the left to where it says video. Then once you're over here, go over here and scroll all the way down till you see the option that says ray tracing. Once you see that option, make sure to turn it on and then it's going to completely transform your game. But anyways, we're just going to be doing that over here. We're going to exit out of the settings and bam, ta-da, we have RTX on a Minecraft Bedrock Edition right over here in all of its glory. It looks absolutely insane, but look at that, guys. We actually have RTX. Yo, that is insane. So from here, literally have fun. Explore it with your new RTX world and all that because this is honestly super duper cool. And for those guys who don't know, this is my very first uh, PC video, like a uh, video on me on computer. So I'm very hyped about this. We got a bunch of cool lighting over here. And by the way, in case you were asking, you can actually turn off the RTX if you like to, for whatever reason, you can toggle it on or off. And by doing that, all you gotta do is go to video over here and just turn off ray tracing over here. And then bam, we are back to normal. But obviously, if you wanna use RTX, then all you gotta do is go to settings, video and then turn on ray tracing just like so it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to do and we get this beautiful effect over here so now that i have a pc with fully functioning rtx expect a lot of rtx videos coming soon because i'm very happy about that and i'm very hyped that i finally have a pc that can actually run rtx it's super duper smooth so let me know what you guys think for my first pc video and look at that look at that Yo, that is so cool. We get like full on rays and all that. All right, man. I'm loving this. I'm loving this um, RTX shader so much. But anyways, guys, if this video was helpful, consider subscribing as it'd be greatly appreciated and can always change your mind later on in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, french fries.